One of the simple joy Play with my little queen Sorry I'm a filmmaker, you're a filmmaker, let's talk about it. This week we're going to do an effects tutorial entirely inside of Adobe Premiere. It's a really cool effect that you can add to um, music videos um, or just, just to any scene where a character may be a little disoriented or they're thinking about something else or a little more of like a visceral scene. So let's play this. And then we've got another one right here. So as you can see, this is a very simple effect, but I think it w works really well and is really effective for any character who is on edge or just feeling a little out of it. And it, it kind of punctuates a specific moment. I used it a couple times in Subject 63 in the beginning, um, right after the plane crash, um, the main character is disoriented and all over the place, and that was a great place to use it. So there's really no right or wrong time to use this effect. And like I said, it's very, very simple, but it's really cool and I like it a lot. I don't use it a ton, but I think finding the, you know, a good place for it to be used and used in the right way, it can be really cool and add a lot to your film, your short film, whatever you're working on, your music video. As always, you want to go ahead and shoot something. Go ahead and open up Premiere. We're going to make a new uh, project and we're going to call it Jitter. And we're going to go ahead and import our footage. So right now we have no effect in the panel in the uh, timeline down below. Up here is the finish thing with the effect. Now we're gonna scrub through this and I'm just gonna go one by one what I did. So right there, all that one is, is the same clip, the exact same clip, a little bigger and opacity is dropped. So what you wanna do for that, again, this is a very, very simple thing you can do. You're gonna go ahead and take the same clip. So this is 3889, we're gonna pull 3889 back down and we're gonna cut, we're gonna cut it out, cut out a little portion of it, delete that. We're gonna zoom in, cause you don't want these to last too long. They'll look weird if they last too long. So then you're gonna click on that, pull up the effects panel, drop down that arrow, this one too. And 50, I think usually looks the best, 50 and then scale just a little bigger. So something like that. And then if you scrub over, it's really subtle and really quick. And you can even make it shorter than that. And you know, right here, this is just a random spot in the video, but I think really where this effect shines through is when you do it on specific points um, that you want to punctuate. So you really want to hit it hard that, you know, there's a reason you're picking to do it at this spot in the clip. Um, that's why in the final one, I do it when finally grab the gun. So I, I, I don't think I don't think just dropping it anywhere in the clip is great, but if you pick a specific point to go ahead and do that, that is awesome. And it looks really good. Um, and let's let's pick another one and do something a little different. So um, one of one of the things that I think looks really good is let's play through here. I think it looks really good when it goes it gets bigger and moves and there's there's a little more of an energy to it in specific points. So we'll find one here, right there. It does one, it's much bigger, the opacity's dropped again, but then right after it does another. And you know, if you move the clip, the clip that's on top, I think that's when it looks really good. So it, you know, it, it kind of pops at you and then moves. So, or, or um, I just played one right there, it goes boom, boom. 
So even things like that, and that all it is is the exact same thing I just did, except you duplicate that again, and you add a second one right after it. So let's 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 try that one where it's it's a pop and then a second pop right on top of it. So let's do that. Cut that. Move this clip back, and then we're gonna go right here with this clip. Effects motion, and we are going to half opacity. Nope, that's not right. 50 okay and then we're gonna do scale and it's gonna be just a little bigger and then the one right after it is gonna be even bigger than that last one opacity 50 and then scale even a little bigger so it'll be let's make it just a bit bigger just so it's noticeable Right there. It's really quick, and like I said, this jitter effect is its always super quick and subtle, but it always looks really cool, so boom, boom. And it's really fast. Um, now what we're going to do is I'm going to delete all of this, and I'm going to bring in the other clip that I had, the shower one, where I was in the shower with a suit on, bleeding. I'm going to bring in the finished and the raw footage. Now I'm going to scrub through for a specific effect that I did that is a little more complicated. It's not hard. Um, it just takes a little more time right there. So it's the same thing, just mirrored and flipped upside down. Um, so for this one, again, what you want to do, let's scrub to a point in the clip. Let's pick a point that's important. Reach over, shut the water off. So boom. So let's do it right there. So then again, as always, you want to take the same clip line it up and cut down to the very specific and very small section that you want to have the jitter for zoom in right here there we go so now we're going to go ahead and half opacity 50 and scale it up just a bit and rotation is what we want we're going to drop it down 180 right there and you know uh, let's see right here there's not this looks a little better I think because the opacity is dropped on the bottom one and also the curtains aren't as pronounced so what you can do for that is actually come over here and we're gonna go into the effects and we're gonna search crop we're gonna drop that on the top the top uh, clip and we're gonna crop it a little bit we're gonna go here we're gonna go here, and um, that looks pretty bad. Like right there, that that line is really distracting. So what you can do is edge feather, bump it up, maybe do a little more because it's getting a little too uh, on the nose. A little more, a little more. So something like that, where it's boom, and it's just real quick, and you have the you know. So let's go, let's play. And here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna cut this, and I'm gonna make the scale on the second one bigger. So it does that thing where it goes dun dun and kind of jumps in at you and makes it a little, a little more jarring to see. Um, and th the things that are really gonna sell this are the uh, sound design that you add behind it. If you have glitch sound effects or um, horror stings, and you can, you know, you can add as many of these as you want in a row. So something like this, and then just take that, and this new one can be off center, it can be up in the corner, it can, you know, change position. And that's what's really going to, like, be the most jarring, I feel. So something like, and you got to make sure these are all quick and... You know, if they linger too long, they look weird, and they're just they're just really not like good looking if they stay around too long. So let's see. 
yeah so something like that and like i said the sound design is the thing that's really really going to sell these um effects that you're pulling off so yeah it's a really simple really quick tutorial and i think it can add a lot to your short film or whatever project you're working on especially if you're going for that horror thriller kind of aspect to it um so you know as always thank you guys so much for watching and if you like what you saw here don't forget to like comment subscribe and share this has been a runaway brain production and i'll see you guys next time Are you gonna be you? july